that's going to be it. I really appreciate everybody who tuned in to check out my playthrough of Horizon Zero Dawn. I really appreciate it. Uh, if you like what you saw, hit that follow. I am Sue Criminal. This has been Horizon. And man, I really can't wait to come back and play this game. <laughs> Every time I'm about to start, Every time I'm about to stop, I get a jolt of energy. It's like, man, play some more, play some more, play some more. When I'm at work, I'm like, I can't wait to get home so I can play Horizon. I just like, I just like walking around, actually. This is one of the only games I like to play that has like faster travel, where you ride animals or you can teleport or whatever, that I actually just like to walk around. I know you haven't seen me actually walk. I've been porting a lot, but that's because I'm trying to get a lot of the side missions or something. Whenever I'm just like, whenever I'm just in the mood to see like a pretty scenery or whatever, man, I just like walking around on foot. See the land, seeing the animals scurry and stuff like that. It's really cool. The weather system in the game has implemented, like, sick. The only thing I would like to see is like, I'd like to see a thunderstorm. It'd be really cool if there was a thunderstorm uh, type of, like, weather that you could go out in. I've seen all the snow and snowstorms and stuff like that, so. Alright, there we go. That is the game. It is saved. Uh, you know what? Let's get this mission going real quick. There it is again. There goes that jolt of energy I had. Something you saw the thief make a run for it? My back was to the wall, you see. Wasn't expecting someone to crawl out the window. He ran past me, dressed in gray, clutching the sword. That's all I saw. By the sun, my heart nearly seized up. These are good. Okay. Come take a look. I'll give you a good price. Any news about my stolen sword? Not yet. I'll see what I can do about the robbery. Stock up before you're on the road. There's some blood right there. Why would you need? I told you what I saw. Only the finest goods here. Check out these wares. He broke the lattice on the way out. I've got all the best goods here. So you ran through town with it? You must have did it later. Yeah. Oh, God. I would like to talk to you. Still more blood. These aren't good. We've got cut boots. Trailings here. Don't pass up these goods. Someone must have seen the thief. I've never broken bread with an outlander. I've got all the best goods here. You'll like what I have for sale, I promise. Hmm. Did someone run past here, holding a sword? Sure did. He grabbed some linen off the stand here and took off down the stairs behind you. He was bleeding, so maybe he needed a binding. Blast it! That was expensive cloth. I can't believe I paid for that thief's bandage. You'll like what I have for sale, I promise. Won't cost you a shard just to look. Talana Khan Padish, Sun Hawk of the Hunter's Lodge. She does her house proud. Hmm. Oh, okay. If the thief came this way, there's only one way he could have gone. Forward. What if he jumped in the river? What if he called the wrong Aloy? 
Someone must have seen him go by. A woman now leads the hunter's watch. Did you see anyone run through here? He would have been holding a sword. Yeah. Almost crashed into me, too. He ran down the parapet here and went down the lift. No way you'll catch him now. I didn't see a sword, though. He wasn't carrying anything. Not a damn thing. Just ran like his ass was on fire. The thief must have ditched the sword. But where? Maybe he had help. That merchant stall would have been a convenient drop-off. Talk to the merchant, okay. It looks like the thief got away, but without the sword. I thought maybe he dropped it off somewhere. Like here, for instance? What? No. I had nothing to do with this. I guess we'll see when I get the city guard to toss your stall and question your customers. Uh, hold on. There's more to this. You've got a reputation for a shining light in the darkness, so I know you'll listen. You're right. The sword was passed to me, and I passed it on to someone else. It's going to be sold, but not for profit. The shards will go to people in need. You expect me to believe that? I can prove it! Meet my friends at the water mill in the lower village. They'll explain everything. If they don't convince you, come right back with the guards. I'm not going anywhere. It wouldn't matter if you did. I'd find you. But all right. I'll check out the water mill. Okay. Guess I should go to this water mill then to find out what's going on. Oh, it's not super far. Uh, is it like right across this bridge? Oh, I gotta take this thing down? Can I even ride this? Oh, I guess I gotta I just gotta wait my turn. That was gonna happen. Oh, okay, here we go. Didn't realize I had to activate it. Activate it first. Time to wait. Finally, it only took like an hour. So the rich people live in the city and like the lesser fortunate are living in the village. Check out these wares. My family might still be alive. And you're going to stand here and do nothing? We've lost a dozen patrols beyond the valley. Our orders are clear. No more. Free ones. 
Tell me what happened to your family. Maybe I can help. By the sun, I fear they are all dead by now. I barely escaped alive. Machines. Vicious machines attacked my family's estate. Father sent me to get help. Okay. What kind of machines? Where did they come from? That's what it sounds like. A ravager. By the sun, how it cut down those guards, and a pack of watchers came with it. The Sun King warned us that he could no longer protect freeholds beyond the valley, but well, father never saw this coming. Tell me more about the estate. My father owns a dozen quarries, and he's put his spoils into the estate. Fine tapestries, custom woodwork, silver fixtures. But what about the people there? Of course. Their lives are all that matter. My father and sister, plus a dozen guards and servants. I hope they survived. <laughs> I'll see what I can do about the estate. You will. Oh, thank you. Oh, please, be careful. Those machines are deadly. But I'm the deadliest, bro. Here, good prices, fair prices. Fairest prices for machine parts under the Mesa. No tithes to the Sun Court. Not like those greedy snarls upside. She's <laughs> not interested in taxes. I know what she's not interested in. As I was saying, no better offer for snap ball lenses. I'd give my oath on it. By the sun, don't start spitting in your palm. Huntress, I apologize on behalf of my partner. Silent partner. Silent partner? If the sun would only <laughs> grant my prayers. Never mind snap more lenses, Huntress. There's no market for those. A long leg lens, though, you'd be well rewarded for. So which... Uh... No market for a snap more lens is good, strong stuff. You can hammer it into anything. Where do you think we are? Some trading post with sawdust on the floor? This is Meridian. We have culture. I know culture. Just the other day I was watching the hunting trials. Oh, great sun, lend me the strength of midday. The sun's <laughs> baked your head if you think we'll shift long leg lenses at a time like this. Uh. Hello? I've told you as many times <laughs> as the spire is tall, craft and artisanship is who we are. Craft doesn't win a war or keep the machines from your farms. What you need is good, old-fashioned, plain... Oh, yes. Old-fashioned, plain, hammered work. If ever something glittered, you'd throw it back. If Karja had built that elevator, they would have stopped at a good-looking shaft. All those years of delving, and you never found a sense of humor. Wow. Enough! Well? There are blunt people, the Nora. Why do you two even work together if you can't agree on anything? <sighs> it's a symbolic gesture. No tithes to the Sun Court, like I said in the beginning, Renine. Just... just tell me which part you want. A long leg lens. A snap ma lens. Fine. I can see that you're busy. Wait, wait. You drove her off. Snap ma lands. What do you say? I drove her off? <laughs> That's rich. Listen, Huntress. Long leg lens. Hunters, scroungers, bring us your metal. Scrounge? Check out these wares. I'll come back later. Scroungers, bring us your metal. metal. Scroungers? What Just kind like of brutes? Yeah, see there are I wanna give them both. We were agree. I do the calling, you do the count. I wouldn't say agreed. I don't complain about your counting other than it takes too long. I wouldn't have to check it twice if you'd stop droning in my ears. Yo, what was that? Is this a crate over here? Okay. Am I gonna have trouble over there? I guess I am. I guess I will then. I will be swimming. 